हाय गाइस हाय फ्रेंड्स गुड इवनिंग वेलकम बैक एज इट इज स्टार्टिंग समर बट इट्स वेरी वेरी हॉट टू गो आउट एवरी डे एंड ईट सो वी हैव डिसाइडेड विल स्टे एट होम एंड शो यू आर रेसिपीज वन वीक बैक वी शोड यू आर रेसिपी ऑफ गोइन ग्रीन चिकन करी टूडे वी आर मेकिंग गोइन रेड चिकन करी विच इज वन ऑफ माई फेवरेट सो आई एम वेरी एक्साइटेड I am also excited to have the red chicken curry. I am going to bring poi bread. Come, we are going to the market. We are going to bring poi bread. Yeah, come. Chalo. Here are the ingredients for making Goan red chicken curry from the recipe by Alvis Fernandez on his excellent blog of Goan recipes. We start with one kilo of chicken, cleaned and washed well. Four small onions chopped, three green chilies slit and two chopped, a pinch of sugar. 5 cloves garlic chop 1 inch ginger chop tamarind water nearly 100 ml 2 tomatoes chop about 4 tablespoons of fresh grated coconut 2 potatoes peeled and cubed about 3-4 tablespoons of cooking oil and here are the ingredients to make the dry masala for red chicken curry 6 kashmiri chilies 1 bay leaf 1 tablespoon coriander seeds 1/2 teaspoon jeera seeds 1 inch tikki Five cloves, twenty peppercorns, quarter petal of mace, and half teaspoon turmeric. Now we'll start preparing by seasoning the chicken with one and quarter teaspoons of salt. Then we will extract thick coconut milk. Now we'll make the powdered red masala. We'll start by roasting the dry masala ingredients on a low flame. We'll roast all the masala ingredients together except for turmeric. Roast for three to four minutes till the spices are nice and aromatic. Now we will dry grind these roasted spices in the small jar of the mixer. And the spice powder, which will make our chicken red and tasty, is done. Now all ingredients are prepared and set up beside the stove for cooking. So we'll start our kadhai on a high flame on a medium sized burner and add the cooking oil. We used about 3 tablespoons of oil. Now that the oil is nice and hot, we'll add the onions. Stir well, breaking up the onion pieces. Cook it till the onions turn translucent. This is the color of the onions that we want. So now we'll add our ginger and garlic and cook for a couple of minutes till the raw smell goes. Alvis adds ginger and garlic after the tomatoes, but we prefer to fry them along with the onions. Then we'll add the chopped green chilies, frying them very briefly. and then we'll add the tomatoes and mix them in well take your time and make sure the tomatoes are cooked well
Now we are satisfied with the tomatoes. So in goes the chicken. Till now the gas is still on high flame. Mix the chicken well, taking care to coat it with the onion tomato mixture. After it's mixed well, we'll add a little water and keep cooking the chicken on high flame for 5 minutes. After 5 minutes, we'll stir and add the potato cubes and briefly mix them in. Then comes the red masala. Mix it thoroughly into the chicken. Take a couple of minutes to do this well. Now we'll add our prepared tamarind water, then we'll cover our chicken, reduce the flame to medium low and cook, stirring every now and then till it is 80% done. Now that our chicken and potatoes are close to getting done, we will cook it uncovered on a higher flame. Finally, we will add the thick coconut milk we prepared. And the slit green chilies. I also added a pinch of sugar. See the nice red color of the curry now. Now we let it come back to a good boil. And that's it, our go and red curry chicken is ready. Now we'll enjoy it for dinner with fresh pow that Maria brought from Margao. Let's see how cook cooks like cook them. Mm -hmm. Onion will come in. Potatoes. Mm. Yeah, you like it? You happy? Tasty. What chicken is this? Royal food chicken. I'm not dead. <laughs> what dish is this? Chicken and red curry, one side. No? Go and chicken red curry. Thanks, Alvis. Thanks to you. We are again having a lovely dinner. Thank you. Mmm. Very nice.